Hi Capricorn, this is your love reading for mid to end of August. I want to thank you so much for all your support. You guys had the most views and probably the most likes. I haven't checked, but thank you so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, leaving me comments. Those of you that have um, emailed me and supported me, sent me donations, as well as um, those that have found me over on Instagram and requested private readings. I absolutely appreciate you guys. So let's get started. This is for singles and couples and all of you in-betweeners trying to figure out where to go from here. So this is for love reading for singles and couples, Capricorn for mid to end of August. Okay, remember that this is a general reading and not all messages may resonate with everyone. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And it's okay if it doesn't resonate, it just wasn't for you. But please, let's get started. Capricorn, love life for singles, straight up singles. What do you have going on? Straight up singles, Capricorn, for the month of August, from now until the end of August. Forgiving and learning. Okay, I'm going to pull one more as well. It is safe for you to love. Okay, what's going on with my single Capricorns? Like straight up single, I got nothing going on. Let's see. What do we have going on with my straight up single Capricorns? Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So... If you had a rough relationship, a rough patch, if you grew up in a dysfunctional home and perhaps maybe didn't have the best example of what a happy relationship should involve. Maybe there was an alcoholic you were involved with. Maybe there was some drinking, drinking and fighting, trying to figure out how to move on from that. There was a relationship that caused you nightmares. Look at that. Three nines. But just as the card says, Capricorn, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So I get the sense that you have been doing some healing work. If you have been drinking or dealing with an alcoholic, there was some codependency issues where you felt as though their drinking may have been keeping you up all night, worrying, hoping they don't get a DUI, hoping they don't get themselves into trouble. You have been fighting to keep this relationship going or this is something that happened in the past however you're carrying those energies still and you would love a brand new opportunity a new chance at something new a new relationship maybe you even want them back maybe you want to work things out with them but it's time that you forgive and learn if if they've tried to get their act together if they've started getting help if they're going to AA, Al Anon. Maybe they're coming to you wanting to do their part. Some equal give and take here. They want to move forward. Letting, letting go of what was holding you guys back. But I feel as though there is so much you're still carrying from the past. And so if they've made a sincere effort or if you've made a sincere effort in putting this behind you so that you can start all over again with someone so that you can put behind the nightmares, the drinking problem, the constant bickering and fighting. There was a lot like this going on either in a relationship that you just ended that perhaps ended you know, not so long ago, but now you've done some reflection, you realize, you know what, look at this, you've got three nines and two sixes. Capricorn, it's time to get it moving. It's time to find your balance. It's time to make the right changes so that you can move forward. It is safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So if this is your ex-partner, didn't work out with if this is you queen of pentacles maybe this is them you were with another earth sign you want your happily ever after you want 
that happy home life, sun shining on you. You want to feel that warmth. You want to feel what it was like to be in a relationship. But I get the sense that right now all you got is your job. All you got is your pentacles. You don't have an emotional connection with someone and you want that. Whether it's the same person from their past, if this is if this is now you've been single for some time, you know this isn't working out anymore. You need to heal from it. Absolutely need to heal from it. You need to understand why this happened, what the situation was. It is not always your fault if this was the other person. Maybe you were in a codependent relationship that had you just stuck in your head and maybe you were blaming yourself. Maybe you were thinking... I could have helped him. I could have done this. I could have done that. You know, and what? Continue with the petty fighting? Because I bet every time you try to help them, or every time they try to help you, if you were the one that was drinking a lot, Capricorn, it became something, some sort of a very small petty fight that turned into like some really harsh words that either got one or both of you stuck in their heads about it. When you're like, I love this person. They love me. Why don't we have this happily ever after? What's going on here? I'm seeing a pattern here. Capricorn, three nines, two sixes, two fives. What is going on? And it, it all has to do with wanting this relationship. You want to move forward. You want to be in a loving relationship. You want to connect with someone, whether it's someone from your past, whether it's someone that... You understand you can no longer fix the situation because fixing the situ situation in your mind means fixing the person. However, someone else's drinking problem, addiction problems, codependency issues is not for you to fix. Seek the help of a professional. Make amends, forgive and learn. And if you choose not to get back together, it's okay. But in order for you to move forward, to be in a safe and loving environment, you've got the sun card here. It is there for you. It is there for the taking. But you've, you've, got, to, you've got to forgive and learn. You have to understand why things happened the way they did, why someone was the way they were, why you did the things that you did. Forgive, learn, heal, release yourself from it, and move on. Rest and relaxation is essential. We all have a fundamental need to take breaks. So if this was you, Capricorn, Capricorn single, if this was you who was the one out drinking, who was spending more time socializing and drinking instead of working on whatever relationship you, were, you had going on, didn't work out, a lot of fighting. I feel a need or that you need to take a break, really think things through, figure out your path ahead of you as you forgive and learn and get to a point where it is safe for you to love. So spirit, what does Capricorn singles have to do? to forgive and learn and move forward. What does Capricorn need to do to forgive and learn and move forward? Four of Cups. You're feeling like you had a missed opportunity here. Ten of Wands. The Death card. Okay. So what do you need to do? Well, you need to stop pining away over something that didn't work out. You need to find your emotional balance. Let go of the weight, whatever this was, right? Because if it was someone else's drinking problem that you feel that maybe you could have fixed, maybe you could have been there for them, maybe you feel bad because you finally put your foot down and you said, I don't want this anymore. You have a drinking problem. You need help. And maybe they're making you feel guilty for not being there for them. But what they don't see is that so much time that you were there for them. 
and they never reached out every time you you extended your hand your arm your helping hand trying to get them towards a path to recovery and so what you need to now do is speak clearly communicate let go of this missed opportunity it's not your missed opportunity if you were the one that was trying to help the person with the problem or vice versa remember these energies can switch the other person has the missed opportunity for not taking you up on your offer when you extended the hand to help so it weighs heavily on both of you because this relationship failed because someone didn't accept the help when it was offered and so what do you need to do well the death card is a very strong message of rebirth starting over again putting a a, 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 a figurative death to the problems of the past putting them to death putting them to an end and moving forward you have the sun card that awaits you capricorn the sooner that you forgive and learn put it behind you speak and communicate clearly respect yourself and set healthy boundaries the sooner that you can move forward and remember that it is safe for you to love okay that was your reading for Capricorn singles. Capricorn singles, let's move on to Capricorn couples. Couples, dating, oh, not too, not yet. There's attraction here. Not yet, let me get this going. Couples, seriously dating, married couples, and maybe some of you in-betweeners that are just not sure if you wanna get back together. You wanna know what the heck's going on with them, right? Maybe they want to know what the heck's going on with you. You know what? I'm going to throw in a cross washer card too. Why not? <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. So what is going on for Capricorn couples? Capricorn couples. Committed relationships. In-betweeners. What is going on for Capricorn couples? past life relationship you have known each other before so i had done another capricorn reading that just gave me a hard time thank you mercury retrograde and i had to scrap it and this was one of the cards that flew out for you guys so let's go back to capricorn couples here passion so there is a lot of passion here between you capricorn couples a lot of passion a lot of love there's passion because you feel a connection with this person you feel as though almost as though it's a continuation from a past life you've known this person before you've had something going on with them in the past very passionate connection so for those of you that are in between you're almost wondering whether or not you should try to give it another chance try to reconnect you feel a very strong connection to them probably the most passionate relationship you had experienced and it's because you felt comfortable with each other It's almost as though you knew each other from a previous lifetime. And so when you got back together in this lifetime, things just felt so right. Okay, so past life relationship. This is a new beginning, new lifetime here. But they do feel like a connection, a very strong connection, very passionate and powerful connection between the two of you. This feels as though there is an emotional, a strong emotional attachment and you're both trying to build upon something. You are moving very slowly between you guys, whether this is couple, married, in between. This is definitely someone from your past. This is a past life relationship. And I mean, it's almost as though you two came back together and you couldn't get enough of each other. Look at that, Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. Honestly, what I just got the feeling of is that you just met someone 
or this is this is a, a long-term relationship I don't want to say long term. It could be for some, but what I'm sensing, the current energy I'm sensing right now is this is something fairly recent where you almost almost as though you you guys just jumped into something because the connection was so strong. And I feel like both of you are saying, you know, I've never felt this before with anyone. Let's see what card that was that flew. 3 of wands. So I'm going to tell you right now, if some of you were married or committed in the past and then you met this past life relationship person where you left, you left your current partner to be with them, you might have somebody who's very upset, very miserable, unhappy after all these cards are flying out for you, by the way, after all the work they've put into this. They almost feel as though they want to be a burden on you. They want to get on your case. They want to cause you problems. Oh my God, seriously, I'm feeling all kinds of crazy energy for you, Capricorn. Okay, look, if you were in a committed relationship or you were seeing someone before meeting this person and then when you met this person, it's like everybody was out the window. This is the only one you wanted to be with. It was so passionate. It was so you had such an emotional and passionate connection with this person, but you knew you had to end it with the other one. I don't feel as though you cheated to be with this person. I do feel as though you said, you know what? There's a connection here and an undeniable connection and I got to be with this person. And so you end things. And so the person you ended it with is not happy. It's like they can't move forward. And so they want to stall your progress. They want to take that away from you. They want to keep you moving slowly, but it's okay. You want to move slowly with this one too, because this is some crazy passion, connection, unexplainable. And the person that you left behind, they're not happy. Let me tell you, they are so not happy. Yeah, they want to put an end to things. They want to put an end to it. They want to spill your secrets. You're going to be dealing with a total asshole here. Or maybe this is you trying to ruin your ex's life because they met somebody else who ended up having a stronger relationship, a stronger connection to what the two of you were feeling. Capricorn, I am going to warn you. I feel as though somebody, be careful. If somebody's got pictures that they shouldn't have of you, video of, that should, they shouldn't have of you, it's like they want to expose you or you're ready to expose someone else. You want to expose these secrets and you don't give a shit how that makes you look. Or vice versa, Capricorn. Beware of that ex that you dumped to be with whoever you are with now. They do not care how bad it makes them look to hurt you or to make you look bad. This goes both ways because I'm feeling a lot of crazy energies like this. You just want to move forward. You want to move forward from this. You're done. You're tired. It's almost as though you want to pay them off and be like, what do I got to do? What do I have to give you to get rid of you? What do I need to do to get you out of my sight, out of my life? This is who I want to be with. This is who I have a powerful new beginning with. And I want to put an end to whatever you and I had. I've told you this before. What don't you understand? It's almost as though you need to get very forceful with them. Not physically, don't get any ideas, I don't condone that, but it's almost as though you need to be very assertive, as I said that, Queen of Swords, you need to be very assertive to cut them out or vice versa. They're the ones that are being total assholes, cutting you out, being very, very rigid, very strong. They're probably following you and this new person, they're probably, they're going to turn into a stalker, so be careful, be careful. <laughs> as I said that right be careful Capricorn you've got a mixture of good and bad here if you are in a serious relationship if you are married 
and you were flirting with someone else, leading them on, them thinking there was a possibility of you leaving your wife to be with them, of you leaving your husband to be with them. Maybe you had a fling that didn't go anywhere. But the strongest feeling I get here is that it was a very bad breakup and you quickly moved on to someone new and that ex is not having it, let me tell you. Bitter Betty doesn't have to be female, could be either or. This could be a guy that is like very bitter, very angry, very deceptive behavior. Capricorns, I'm warning you, please be careful. These are people that can turn into stalkers, that can make your life miserable, that will slash your tires, slash your tires. They want to cut up those opportunities. They want to make it seem like you're untrustworthy. Be careful, Capricorn. Look at that. Consider your foundation. You are being asked to look at how committed you are to love. So consider your foundation. How strong is your foundation in this relationship that you're building? Can this outsider or ex or whoever it may be, can they come in and destroy what you are trying to build with this new person? Keep that in mind. Capricorn, I am not liking this feeling whatsoever. Okay, you know what? I need to clarify this because I don't like I don't like this feeling. You've got some psycho chicks, psycho dude, stalker. Okay. What does Capricorn need to do to get rid of this stalker? This crazy chick, crazy dude, psycho guy. What does Capricorn need to do? What does Capricorn need to do? They need to stand their ground. Push them away. But be very careful when you push them away. So the Seven of Wands did come Seven of Wands did come out sideways. I put it upright. I'm gonna I'm gonna just let you know the meaning both ways. Upright, stand your ground, let them know that as much as you, there was love between you at one point or another, you are not interested in rehashing the past. You want a second chance at love, but with another person. However, if I read it in the reverse... It is about you softening up a bit, approaching them in a more loving manner instead of being abrasive like them and saying, you know what? I'm sorry things didn't work out. You meant a lot to me at one point. I loved you. I love you. I care about you, whatever it may be. But I want a second opportunity. I'm making it right with someone else i am asking you to please respect that where does capricorn go from here capricorn couples once that is over and done with you will be able to offer that cup of love. You will be able to have that loving opportunity with the person that you do want to be with. That, that part will be able to come in. You will be able to reconnect with them. You will be able to build on a more solid foundation. However, before you start something new with someone, please get the closure and give the closure the other person needs before you move on to build on something new. If you just straight up and left someone for somebody else without actually talking about it and it was just like a nasty breakup, well, guess what? That nasty breakup is going to spill into this new relationship you're trying to build and it's going to keep going. 
I see no end in sight if you don't speak up and do something about it. They are not going to stop until they know you're miserable, until they know they broke you up. And I know, silly, stupid, why would you want someone back that is capable of something like that? And they're not thinking clearly. They're not seeing that point of view. They're not happy. Therefore, how dare you be happy? So keep that in mind. Keep an open mind as you reconnect, as you try to, you know, come back together in a civil way. Give them the closure that they need. Speak openly, but let them know if this is how you feel, let them know. I want another opportunity to make it work with someone else. Or it could be vice versa, right? You want to be able to you want to be able to not be that stalker if you're the one that's going crazy on someone and you want to have that opportunity and just say, hey, look, we need to clear the air. I, I don't want to be a jerk to you. We both deserve to be happy. So why don't we talk about this and we can both go our separate ways. You don't know what can come about that. But at the end of the day, it's about being content, happy, at peace, at ease, and not having any of that karmic cycle bullshit still following you into your next relationship. Okay, Capricorn, that was your reading. If it resonates, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to do. I was thinking of maybe splitting up the readings, the love readings, so I only do one solid single and one couples. Let me know what you think. I'm trying to save on time uh, and getting you guys the readings out right away. So again, thank you guys so much for your support. I really appreciate you guys for everything. Your comments, like, share, subscribe. If you're not following me on Instagram, I do post daily there and I do weekly live readings. Those will eventually move over to YouTube. So I will be posting up live readings there. I will be doing them live there. So please, if you subscribe, hit that little bell so you know when I go live. Um, again, if you'd like a personal reading, all my info is in the description box below. Thank you. Thank you so much, Capricorn, for all your help. Have a good one. We'll see you in September. Bye.